Blazing in here. Are you ready for the rapture? Are you ready for the catching our way? Are you ready? Oh, mm. Are you ready? See me? Are you going to leave? Hey. Only catching our way. All these guy watchers, they're looking out for Nibiru. You're looking out for Planet X. You're looking out for Dwarf Star. You're looking out for nothing. All is in the imagination. NASA is lying. You see, NASA, they continue to lie to the public. Mm -hmm. But you're getting the truth, you are cried away. Hi you sleepers shake off your slumber shake off your slumber for this is the hour mm -hmm. we are ready for the rapture we are ready for the getting away we find the rapture me are ready for the getting away me are ready we are ready me are ready me are ready me are ready ah let me tell you something let me tell you something you see the these guy watchers they're chasing after Nibiru they're chasing after Planet X they're chasing after Bangla after they know nothing at all this is the I am the watchman the watchman to teach you the ancient truth of Elohim be silent day or night for the Lord Establish his reign. There will be no peace in the night. Until yeah, Jerusalem. Let's go. He is his strength. If you lift up your voices and call on the Lord. The nations will see that salvation come from heaven. Oh, no more waiting the anointing of Yah has begun. Oh, blind eyes will see us the captive. If you lift up your voices, they come. Yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the time to rejoice. Are you ready? This is the time to rejoice. Are you ready? Are you ready for the catching our way? Are you ready for the rapture? Uh huh. You see, the sky watch has only running down planet X and Nibiru, not running down the kingdom of God. They are so blinded. Whoa! We're going to see the glory of Elohim in the heavens according to the will of Abba Yahuwah. Let's go! You see the glory of those who believe. Whoa! Let's go! Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah! This is the time to praise. If you, uh huh, he will come. Rejoice with me. And sons will see that salvation come from Zion. Oh, no more waiting the anointing of your hands be. You see the glory clouds? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you are greatly. Let's go. Woo. As you can see the glory cloud, as it manifesting now. Yeah. And the nations will see that salvation come from Zion. Woo! Oh, no more waiting. The anointing of Yah has begun. Oh, blind eyes will see us. The if you lift up your voices, then have I said that he's going to show the kingdom of God? Yes, you, Yahushalayim, and the kingdom of heaven will be visible over this life in the next 20 to, yeah, next 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to see it. We're 
gonna see the heavens as it manifests before our eyes. Oh, bow down and worship. Oh, bow down and praise them. Bow down and worship Elohim. Bow down and worship El. Bow down. Mm, bow down. Uh, bow down and worship Elo. Bow down and give them all the praise. Bow down. Bow down. Bow down and give them praise. Bow down and worship. Bow down. Bow down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah. We give you glory, Father. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Raise up those who will stand unafraid in the night hour, who will give no sleep to their eyes, no peace or rest give them to you, Lord, until you make Jerusalem. And the King of Glory is about to enter in with His glory. You have sworn it by your name. Hallelujah. Keep ya the way and so blow a shofar makes the sound the alarm on my holy mountain says the Lord for the day of the Lord is at hand yeah let's go brothers and sisters keep ya the way She's still there, but I'm going to show the glory of Elohim here. See? Prepare the way. So we are making way for Yahushua now. Make straight the path for him. Let the King of glory enter in. Let the King of God. We welcome you, Yahushua. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, Father. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty to save. See, Yahushua is appearing now. So let's make way for Yahushua and his glory. Prepare the way. Make straight the path for. Let the King of glory enter in. King of glory Wow, whoa, whoa, let's see that. Wow, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty to save. The earth is full of his glory, creation calls the way his love 
love endure it forever. Mulle now tell her what he's doing just now. Found Yahushua will be speaking. Just now Yahushua will be speaking. His victory treasure in all who call on him. song let's go Woo! let the king of glory and, and he's coming up hey Woo! yeah let's go let the king of glory enter whoa Yahushua show forth your glory Yahushua Hamishiach, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty to save, the earth is full of his glory, creation comes, prepare, are you ready? Sisters, are you ready to go home? Her air is strength, is victory treasure. And all who call on him, prepare the way. Prepare the way. Woo! Prepare. We give you glory and praise, all mockers and scoffers. Abba Yahuwah, support your glory, hallelujah. Oh, support your glory in the heavens, Father. Oh, support your glory in a mighty way, Yahuwah. Oh, support your glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Support your glory, King Yahushua. We give you glory and praise. Oh, Rebe Shekia, the Robo Sakaya, la la baba, la baba, Kuro, Bobo, Shio, the Bobo, Boko, la baba. So forth your glory. Oh, we exalt your name. We extol your mighty name, Father. You are worthy of all praise, all glory, all honor, all worship. Oh, Rabba Sakaya, la baba, so condo, the Bobo, so. We give you praise, worship, and adoration. Oh, we glorify your holy name. So forth your glory, almighty God. The line of Yahuda. Yahushua on this side here he's gonna show himself clear at just now his shoulder wow PPA whoa wow His 
despise with uh, and eh, this is not chemtrails, huh? This is the glory of Elohim. No chemtrails in the sky today. Pleasure in all who call on him. And it's getting more and more brighter to show you all the, the, the full glory of Elohim today. Prepare the way, make straight the path for let the King of glory enter in. King of glory entering. Invite, 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 invite. This is going to blow your mind away. We do not need a glasses from NASA to see the solar eclipse. You can see the solar eclipse without a glasses from NASA. That glasses from NASA will blind you. Will blind you from seeing the supernatural realm or the glory of Elohim. Do not purchase a glasses from NASA on Monday. A multi-dimensional color. It's his victory treasure. In all who call the way. It's a great song. Share this life. Share this life. Share this life. Prepare the way Make straight the path for him Let the King of glory enter in Share this life and invite Every one of you invite somebody Invite somebody to see this glory Who is this King of glory? Only the real, the true message of Elohim could bring forth the glory of Elohim. Only the true messenger who is righteous, holy, and set apart could bring forth the glory of Elohim. Creation calls together. Whoa! Does love endure it forever? Worship with me in all who call on him. Be the way. Are you ready to go home? Hallelujah. Are you ready, children? Are you ready to be raptured? Let the King of Glory enter in. Yeah, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty to save, the earth is full of his glory. Are you ready? Are you ready, children of Zion? Woo! Are you ready to be raptured?
the glory of his majesty hallelujah glory hallelujah to your name father you are worthy to be praised oh we give you praise hallelujah we give you glory and praise and it's time it's time and it's time that we shake the earth and it's time all the earthquakes they were getting it was warning it's time to shake the earth are you ready it's time that we shake the earth be prepared be prepared be prepared now children be prepared now remain prepared remain prepared Remain prepared. Remain prepared. Remain prepared. Oh, Rabba Basaka Yala Bobo Bosala Baba Soto Kolo Bobo 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 we're gonna shake the earth today with his grace. glory today we're gonna shake the earth Are you ready? Uh, 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 are you ready? We, Elohim, the triune eternal family, we're going to shake the earth today. The Lord, strong and mighty. Shalom to all my children. I love you. The day has come. The day has come. Many women believe in Shayone as our messenger. But that day has come. Let all those continue to laugh. Let them continue to laugh. Let them continue to mock. Let them continue to scoff. The day of my judgment is here. I show you my glory and yet you laugh, you mock, you scoff at me. But today, the, the whole earth shall be shaken violently. I love you. I love you all. I know and let's sing this love song to Imaya. This song was sung, was so this song was sung by Boys to Men. And the name of the song is Color of Love. And this is what Imaya is showing us: the color of her love. I know the color of love that is ease inside of you. I know the color of truth It's in the image of you And it comes from the heart And you know that it's true It will color your soul Like a rain, like a rainbow And the color of love is in you Colors, the colors, colors, the colors Colors, the colors like a bridge mm -hmm. All the troubles Trouble Oh, bow down and praise them Bow down and worship Elohim Bow down and worship El Bow down mm -hmm. Bow down 
Bow down and worship hello. Bow down and give them all the praise. Bow down. Bow down. Bow down and give them praise. Bow down and worship. Bow down. Bow down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the king of glory is about to enter in with his glory. You have sworn it by your name. Hallelujah. Prepare the way. And so blow a shofar in his hand. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain, says the Lord, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Keep the way. Oh. You attested his faithfulness even this week. Mm. Hallelujah. She's still there. The but I'm gonna show the glory of Elohim. Yeah. See? Keep the way. So we are making way for Yahushua now. Make straight the path for him. Let the King of Glory enter in. Let the King of Glory. We welcome you, Yahushua. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, Father. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. See, Yahushua is appearing now. So let's make way for Yahushua and his glory. Prepare the way. Make straight the path for. Let the King of Glory enter in. King of Glory. Wow, whoa, whoa, let's see that. Wow, the Lord strong and mighty. What he's doing just now. Yahushua will be speaking 
Just now, Yahushua will be speaking. His victory strategy in all who call on him. song let's go Woo! let the king of glory and, and he's coming up hey Woo! yeah let's go let the king of glory enter whoa yahushua show forth your glory Yahushua Hamishiach, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty to save, the earth is full of his glory, creation comes, prepare, are you ready? Sisters, are you ready to go home? Is is victory stranger and all who call on him prepare the way prepare the way Woo. prepare We give you glory and praise, all mockers and scoffers. Abba Yahuwah, so forth your glory, hallelujah. Oh, so forth your glory in the heavens, Father. Oh, so forth your glory in a mighty way, Yahuwah. Oh, so forth your glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So forth your glory, King Yahushua. We give you glory and praise. Oh, Rebe Seke, Lobo Saka, Yala, Laba, Baba, Laba, Bakuro, Bobo, Seo, Lobo, Bobo, Kola, Baba, so forth your glory. Oh, we exalt your name. We extol your mighty name, Father. You are worthy of all praise, all glory, all honor, all worship. Oh, Rabba Saka, Yala, Baso, Kondo, Lobo, So, we give you praise, worship, and adoration. Oh, we glorify your holy name. So forth your glory, Almighty God. The Lion of Yahuda. And Yahushua on this side here, he's gonna show himself clear at just now. His shoulder. Wow. PPA, whoa! Wow.
temperatures in the sky today? Pleasure in all who call on him. Maybe the
the earth and its time. All the earthquakes they will get on. They were warning, it's time to seek the earth. Are you ready? It's time that we shake the earth. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared now, children. Be prepared now. Remain prepared. Remain prepared. Remain prepared. Go rababa shakaya. It's time that we shake the earth. And that is what we're going to do today. family. We're going to shake the earth today. The Lord, the Shalom to all my children. I love you. The day has come. The day has come. Continue to scoff the day of my judgment. I show you my glory, and yet you laugh, you mock, you scoff at me. But today, the, the whole earth shall be shaken violently.
away and so blow
thousand scoffers. Also for your glory in a mighty way, also for your glory. God.
share this live and invite every one of you invite somebody invite somebody to see this glory Shake 
has come. Many will believe in
Glory.
We give you praise, worship, and adoration. Oh, we glorify your holy name. So forth your glory, almighty God. in his sky today.
could bring forth the glory of Elohim.
our messenger. But that day has come. Let all those continue to laugh. Let it continue to mock. Let it continue to stop. The day of my judgment is here. I show you my glory and yet you laugh. You mock. You scoff at me. But today, the, the whole earth shall be shaken violently. by boys to men and the name of the song is color of love and this is what you have to say us the color of her love I know the color of love that is ease inside of you I know the color of shoes it's in the image of you and it comes from the heart and you know that it's true the color of your soul like a rain like a rainbow and the color of love is in you colors the colors colors the colors colors the colors like a bridge mm. all the troubles trouble
gonna show himself clear just now. He's so in the sky today. Elohim today.
Now, children, be prepared now. Remain prepared. Remain prepared. Remain prepared. Song was so this one was sung by Boys to Men, and the name of the song is Color of Love. And this is what Maya is showing us the color of her love. I know the color of love, but it sees inside of you. I know the color of truth, it's in the image of you. Like a rain, like a 
rainbow And the color of love is in you Colors, the colors, colors, the colors is up there now. So let's make way for Yahushua.
just now. Yahushua will be speaking. Just now, Yahushua will be speaking. His victory shall in all who come. This side here, he's gonna show you Just now, he's Wow, BPM, whoa, wow.
not need a glasses from NASA to see the solar eclipse. You can see the solar eclipse without a glasses from NASA. That glasses from NASA will blind you. Will blind you from seeing the supernatural realm. Or the glory of Elohim. Do not purchase a glasses from NASA on Monday. Share this life, prepare the way, make straight the path for him, let the king of glory enter in. Share this life and invite, every one of you invite somebody, invite somebody to see this glory. Who is this king of glory? Only the real, the true messenger of Elohim could bring forth the glory of Elohim. Only the true messenger who is righteous, holy, and set apart could bring forth the glory of Elohim. is going to squeeze the fault line causing the land to be pulled in to the sea watch causing the land to be pulled into the sea causing the magnitude of earthquake need to be 10.1 or above or below a great magnitude of earthquake 10.1 right earthquake great magnitude of earthquake 10.1 uh, will give you a wobble here that will cause a major tsunami a major high shot a major tsunami to happen right here just let me know if you're seeing it clear or you're not seeing it clear I don't want to waste my time again I'm not going to waste my time if nobody's not seen it if they're not seen it if they're not seen it blurred or if you've seen it blurred let me know so we'll move on to other things let me know right now if you've seen it blurred all right Clear? Very good. Very thanks. This all right. Okay. If it's clear, praise yeah. So the ten point one mark me two earthquake, which which is going to happen very soon. A ten point one mark me two earthquake going to affect Yellowstone. And when since Yellowstone is a female, I explain about the solar eclipse. As you can see, this is solar eclipse here, and uh, this is Elohim, and there are veins running from the land to the Atlantic Ocean connecting back to Yellowstone and from Yellowstone connecting back to the sinkholes right all the sinkholes that's a little blow let's pray let's pray against it right um you see where I put sh h s h means sinkhole right that is the sinkhole and the r is for righteous so before Yellowstone blows the caldera of Yellowstone is the heart of Yellowstone Watch and learn. Revelation 12 is re in response to Yellowstone eruption. So, your brothers and sisters, the enemy will try to stop this, but this cannot be stopped. Only Elohim can, 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 can fulfill this. So, the veins is running from this country to this country to all countries connected together. Right? Right? All countries connected together. And uh, as you can see, the mountains. The mountains, the land, that includes all mountains. Not because I draw two, doesn't mean to say it's only two going to be affected. All the earth is going to be affected, right? Yahuwah is going to pull in the earth. The earth is going to be pulled in, like pulled in. And uh, when the wobble takes place here, the fourth line, the fourth line is already between the, uh, the fourth line is already between the, the two plates, right? The fourth line is more than two plates, right? 
but I just explained in two plates here so I could understand. It have to be more than two plates because it, two plates alone cannot cannot hold for two nations or, or just a few. So it's more than two plates, it's seven plates. It's seven plates in all. So there are seven plates and there are also seven fault lines. There are also seven veins. And seven, seven, seven is completion of the kingdom of Yahushua Hamashiach. Right? So the vein, plates, fault lines, uh, mountains, land, and Yellowstone female. Right? This is the guy, the, you see the G, the G is for the geysers, or the geyas, whatever they call it. And this is the womb of Yellowstone. Before Yellowstone erupts, like you have a question, ask me. If you have a question, please ask me. One person at a time, please. If you have a question, ask me. Again, there are seven veins, seven plates, uh, seven fault lines. Seven holding everything together. Everything together. When Yahuwah, when Yahuwah created, that, that is why this all, this all corresponds to the Shabbat. This all corresponds to the Shabbat also too. So when Yahuwah finishes work, when Yahuwah finishes work on the sixth day, Yahuwah rests on the seventh day. Because seven is completion of his creation. And when Yahuwah created the earth, Yellowstone was created. And with Yellowstone, other volcanoes started to pop up other places on the earth. So back to explaining this, this may be one of the most difficult things to explain to human beings. That is, that is Elohim is the one who is in charge of this whole, this whole process. So the magnitude 10.1, Yahuwah need to hit his rod, Yahuwah need to hit his staff or his rod, you see Abba's staff, he needs to hit it hard here. See if Abba hits it, mm, let me say mild, let me, let me just say Abba hits here mild, I'm going to put mild, you will, you, mild, this mild could be a 3.1, sorry, this mild could be a 3.1 magnitude. That will cause a magnitude of earthquake. So if Abba decides to hit, a certain part of the earth that is in the west. Let's say Abba decides to hit the north with an earthquake. Uh, he, will, he will be hitting here. Alright, kind of hard. Alright, kind. Kind of or mild. You see, I put mild up here. Kind of means that they, they will get around. Uh, 4.4 or maybe they will get a wrong uh, 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 they will get a low uh, uh, they will get about 5.4 right if I decide to hit here with the staff the earth uh, 3.1 miles that is in the west and in the, and in the north he hits in the world in the north kinda you will get a 4.4 earthquake if Abba decide now in the south to take his staff up here and hit the south they say he hit the south hard but not too hard hard but hard hard but mild let me just wait Abba Pull shift, right? Abba hit here hard but mild. You will get something like a 6.1, or you'll or you'll get like a 5.0. Point... Oh, this is what I'm telling you. Yeah? This is what Abba I'm telling me right now. So what you are being taught is what is being teached to me right now. This is new things that's being taught to me right now. So when Abba take his staff, and this is how earthquakes start. Don't no study science and the bullshit. That is bullshit. Abba created the earth. He know how to cause earthquakes. He used his staff, his rod, and knock here. Abba 
take a stop and he knocked, he knocked the west. The west could get a 3.1 because it's, it's a mile. He take, he take his rod again and he hit the north or he can hit or he can hit both places. Wham, wham, or wham, wham at the same time. Let me, let me just draw something to show you all. And that can happen. And that can happen. So this happens here. Created an earthquake. That creates an earthquake in the ep to the ep to the epicenter of the earth. Not really the epicenter, but the center of the earth could be here. But this is the epicenter. And I'm going to show you all how heaven, how we are the center, how we are in the center of the universe. We are the attraction of the universe. Everybody in the universe knows who we are here. Right? And they know there is a dome here. The dome, since the earth is like this, this is the model of the earth. The earth is not like this wrong, flat. The earth not flat like this. No, that is not flat. Right? That is certainly not flat. The earth is like this. This is how the earth is. That is how you can able to get the west and north and south poles. You cannot get it any other way. Right? So, have a knock here. And you'll get 4.4, 5.4 magnitude earthquake. Let's see Abba decide to hit the east. And he hit the east very hard. Very hard. If he hit the east very hard, you will get a seven. Did I say seven? Yeah. You'll get a 7.8. Or, according to the hit, you could get a 10.1 magnitude of earthquake, eh? Very hard, 7.8 magnitude, right? So, so again, I will explain it again, this is our staff. This is what he used to bring forth the earthquakes on the earth. He used his staff and knock a certain place. So this is how the pole shift will happen. So let me go over to this sketch. Watch and learn. The vein, as I tell you all, is it has seven veins, seven plates, seven fault lines. Right? The plates actually mean the shelves. So it has seven shelves, which is actually the plates. So the plate is the shelves, right? The plate is the shelf. So when Ava hits here, the east, very hard, you will either get a 7.8 or a 10.1 that could cause a tsunami here. If Ava hit it, if Ava hit the earthquake, listen, if Ava hit the earthquake on the land, Houses here, or all here will be destroyed because the 10.1 will bring up forth a devastation. I can't do that, right? All right. So, a 10.1 earthquake will bring about a devastation, causing a tsunami, according to if it hits in the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see, I have 10.1 here. If it hits in this in the Atlantic Ocean, we will get a wobble here which means a tsunami will happen right here causing the land to flood out causing the plates to uplift or the shelves to uplift to pour in the water onto the land that is how a tsunami happens a tsunami doesn't happen or uh, the earthquake hit, hit, hit it and it caused a wave and cause a wave and that how the wave come you know brothers and sisters they're lying to us because they cannot explain to you all here what i'm explaining to you right scientists cannot explain this they will never explain it to you because they don't want you to know they want to keep you under the deception because that is part of their plan to keep you blinded to keep you under control their control so they won't tell you what i'm telling you here the information i'm telling you here worth more than a million billion dollars right but this is not for sale this is not for sale this is for not even for educational purposes this is for those who love righteousness who want to learn about the truth right doing all this is not a waste of my time 
for all those who reject this, then they should go with NASA and die with NASA. They don't deserve to be. They don't deserve to be in Elohim's presence if they reject this model of heaven, how it was created, right? If you don't like how I just speak, that you blasted business too, right? So the plates, the um, the fault lines, the vein. The vein is between the, the fault lines. The plates, the two plates. This is this is actually what is happening right now. So I draw exactly what you're seeing here, right? This is exactly what you're seeing here, right? The plates, the fault lines. The vein, right? Everything corresponds to a tsunami. That what caused a tsunami when the earthquake is 10.16.3. That could cause a tsunami according to where it has been where it has been focused on hitting. If Abba hits it, if Abba hits the earthquake, if Abba hits his rod here, then here, then the wave here, since it's close to the to the plates, that will cause a major tsunami but if it happened in the atlantic ocean it will only flow in like a it will only come in like a like a flow of water on the land but if abba hit the stuff here close to the plates then the shelves will raise up fly up wham and then the fault line squeeze together between the plates it will cause like a like a um, like a flow up and and flow down so when the um when when that happens the water goes up and then it it, it comes back down before the uh, the um the plates goes back down and then the water gush into the land but if abba hits at 10.1 here or here closer to the plates my brothers and sisters that could cause a major tsunami we're talking about two to seven hundred feet of water coming on the land it will destroy everything that land will never recover you know why because of the magnitude of water come in it will never recover so this is this is this is how it is brothers and sisters this is how it is don't, don't let them continue to fool you and tell you shit or, 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 or rob you or rob you of, or, of, or, of your um, rob you of wisdom or understanding this model this is exactly how Abba told me it is and this is how it is and that is how it is it doesn't matter to what the other what the other flat earthers think or what the other globe earthers think i don't care what they think what abba says that is what i'm that is what i'm doing exactly what abba says right and some of you might say what if, what if that is not abba what if that that is abba this is how it is this is the truth this is the ancient truth from the foundation this is what this is what was abba planned Abba plan. This is the this is the foundational plan. This is Abba rod, and as I show you all the pole shift, let me just show you all something here. A pole shift. Let me show you all when a pole shift will happen. The pole shift will happen when a 10.1 earthquake hits the earth. At the same time by default line so 210.1 that will that will equal to 11.1 sorry 11.2 so that will be equal 11.2 earthquake on the land and in the sea that will cause a major earthquake and that will cause the poles that will cause the poles to shift because of the magnitude of earthquake the poles here will start to go crazy not the poles here sorry the, the, the plates will lift so high that it will obstruct the land cause uh landslides and all this so all, all this uh, landslides and all these sort of things will happen landslides will happen and the earth will be pulled in into the atlantic ocean and that is the plan of abba right so there you have it abba's rod right and imaya ruach hakodosha let me explain that now the solar on the night of the solar eclipse on the day of the solar eclipse the heavens will be very right right on the night of the solar eclipse the heavens will be very right right and uh, elohim 
they will open the heavens on the solar eclipse you will see the new year we shall aim where is it okay facebook you don't need to blow it out i had enough of your shit okay Facebook, you don't need to blow it out. They see in, they know. I just doing this over again. Eh? Right? So yes, what well, the 10.1 earthquake, I'll just saying, uh red answer. The 10.1 earthquake will bring about a pole shift. It must happen in the sea and on land. And when that happens, oh yes, and that will cause water to come in here, and it will lift the, it will lift the poles. The poles will be lifted, and the earth the earth will flip. When they, when they talk about flip, it doesn't mean like flip like this, you know. When they say it will be a pole a pole flip, or the earth will flip, it, it doesn't mean nothing. When they mean pole that the earth will flip, it, it means that it will flip like this, you know, like a flip in the spin, you know. It means that it will just do so. It, it, instead of the, instead of the, it will just, like, let me say, how I have it here, the west, the east, but then that will happen. This is what will happen. Let me say that is a compass. This is what will happen to bring about the pole shift. The east will go with the north, east, the west will go with the south. East. So it will switch up. We're talking about devastation here. The poles will shift up. Right? So the earth will leave the land like Trinidad. Trinidad will leave and float away where the west is. Antigua, not Antigua, sorry, Australia will go where the north is. America will go where the east is. And so on. Um, South Africa and all the other places. South Africa will go. I don't know where, where it actually is, but I'm just saying, right? South Africa will go in the in the south, right? I just explain it in that way so you could understand. That is what it means by pole flip or the pole shift. The pole shift is actually the seven the seventh shift or the, the seventh wave. So the pole shift is is the seventh wave. Okay, the seventh wave. Now I'm gonna draw a different diagram to show you something. I don't need to draw it here. Let's see if I can do it here. So I don't think it here already. On the solar eclipse. Let's see, I just do some. I will I will sketch it for you to understand. On the solar eclipse. That day will be the sixth wave. I think I have it here. Let me see what I think I have it. On the day of the solar eclipse, that will be the sixth wave. That means that the sixth trumpet will song. Right? The sixth trumpet will song on that day. And uh, they say right after that. They said not too long after that, maybe in September, then we have the seventh we have a point. Then we had the seventh wave happening here, which could bring about the pole shift or pole reversal shift. When they say pole reversal, it doesn't mean the earth could be flipped upside down. They have a different understanding and that's not how it is. Okay? Uh the West will be where the south is, the east will be where the north is, that is the pole shift. That is the pole reversal shift. And that is how the pole shift will happen on a flat earth. If we live in on a globe, however, let me say there's the globe, let me say there's the globe model here. There's the globe here. We living on this piece of shit, right? We living on this piece of shit. 
which we're not living on this piece of shit. There is no poles on this. You can't get, you can't get east, you can't get west, you can't get north, and you can't get south. You cannot get a south pole on a friggin' ball. Right? If I can show you what we're talking about, eh? You cannot get a pole shift on a friggin' ball. The earth, this is the earth here. You so called the scientist earth rubbish. Complete rubbish. You cannot get a pole shift on a ball or on a globe. You can only get it on a flat earth. And this is flat earth. Right? You can only get a pole shift on a flat earth. You cannot get a pole shift on a globe. The earth put the globe it cannot get a pole shift there and if an earthquake happens on this if an earthquake happens on this it will split the crate it will split the, the earth will be split any earthquake happen any magnitude of earthquake happens it will split this globe in half and then the other half will float away in space. This is shit. This model is shit. The earth is not friggin' it's not a ball. The earth is not a ball. Or it's not a globe. We're not living on a globe. This is wrong. This is rubbish. This is complete rubbish. Right? This is rubbish. You cannot get you, you, you cannot even get four poles on this. Okay. So there you have it brothers and sisters, this model of the earth is rubbish, this model of the earth is right, you can only get a pole shift on this model, on a flat earth, on a flat earth you could get, you could get this to happen, a pole shift, and on a flat earth you could get Yellowstone, when Yellowstone explodes it's going to split the dome, the dome is going to be cracked in half right so when yellowstone explodes it's going to crack it's going to split the dome in and uh it's going to split the dome right so I'm teaching you all here the ancient truth of elohim the reason for the sinkholes uh invite some people invite some people invite some people invite make sure you share Make sure you share this live and uh, if you're new and you want to learn more, send my friend request. But please, when you send my friend request, please send my message, a private message. Before you send my friend request, send my private message stating that you're interested in learning the truth. If not, I don't want to waste my time with rubbish. I don't waste my time with rubbish. Right? I do not waste my time with rubbish. So, if you know you're coming on my page to talk rubbish, forget it forget it you'll waste my time if you're really interested in learning the truth well no problem i will spend how long to, to, to not to convince you but
but to show you the glory of Elohim and to and that Elohim will also show you the glory also too. So on the day of the solar eclipse, on the night of the solar eclipse, before the solar eclipse reached three quarter, as I see I have it three quarter here, not whole. When it reached three quarter like this, when the solar eclipse reached three quarter, there will be major earthquakes happening. Where is my sketch from yesterday? Right, so there will be major shifts happening when it reached three quarter. So three quarter of the earth will be shaken dreadly. Right? Three quarter of the earth will be shaken badly. When when the moon when the um when the solar eclipse reach three quarter, three quarter of the earth will be shaken violently. Three quarter of the earth. When it reach full, the whole earth will moan. Right? The whole earth the whole earth will moan in agony right i just giving you all a little heads up right so yellowstone now today with yellowstone now on the day of the solar eclipse you will see other heavenly bodies as you know it as planets right you will see other planets or heavenly bodies there Right? When the solar eclipse is happening, you're going to see the New Jerusalem and you're going to see other kingdoms manifesting with it. And after that, the veil will be completely scrapped. The veil will be completely removed after the 21st of, um, of August. The veil will be, or on the day of the 21st of August, the veil will be removed completely. Right? The veil will be removed. You could see the kingdom with your bare eyes. So, how the rapture are going to happen? is when Imaya, who is a part of the triune, a part of the Godhead in heaven, speaks. When she speaks, and she speaks to Yellowstone, who is a female, which is a female, which is Revelation 12, right? Yellowstone is Revelation 12, which is female. So Imaya, as the female Godhead in heaven, uh, the Godhead of creation, uh, she will actually command Yellowstone. She will command the womb and she will tell her, okay, it's time to build. Before this happened, Yahuwah, let me see if I find the other sketch because the other sketch shows a lot. So I'll teach her a lot of things. Right. Right. You see, I put the solar eclipse here again. So when the solar eclipse is about to happen, earthquake everywhere, as I show you all last night. So the crop circles now, not jumping, not jumping the boat or anything like this. The crop circles to explain to you about the crop circles. So the crop circles, you know, sometimes you see a crop circle like this. That's why the Christians say no, not not what the crop circles or what the crop circles represent. Well, I teach that last night. And most people wasn't really interested, but that's the, that the business. All who don't want to be interested, that's the business. It doesn't matter if you, anymore. If you want to be interested or you don't want to be interested, that's up to you. It doesn't bother me. You know, it don't bother me, right? But if you're interested a little more, you know, fine. I will, I will teach you. I will, I will go deep. I will go very deep to teach you the truth, to uncover the lies of the enemy. So the, the crop circles is like this. And the crop circles is on a flat earth. Just like how it is, just like how Yellowstone is on a flat earth. Just like it is, all the plates is on a flat earth. The fault lines on a flat earth. The vein. The sinkholes is on a flat earth. I need some water to drink.
So Yahushua. So this is how the crop circles usually be. It shows an earth. It shows too flat. You know, it shows like that. Anybody could, anybody could find our crop circles from and from it. Anybody who listening, you could find the crop circles. Send it from us. I will show them. Uh, I don't have any crop circles right now on my phone. I'm not sure I'm going to check to see if I have any crop circles. If we can find some crop circles and uh, send it in my inbox. If I have any crop circles, then. I'm not going to spend all day teaching this, set, but I just wanted to you know, talk about it again. Let's make sure. Let me just see if I have any crop circles on the phone. If I have crop circles, then... Let's uh, find some crop circles. Three cup circles here, and uh, I haven't seen any. But um, I find some cup circles. I'm sure I have it. Looking through. Anybody have any cup circles?